so far away in this beautiful blur. My mind was led astray by the silence that occurred in the slumber of a child bitted by the blues. I might just stay a while, it's what I need. Joe's have to go underneath. here at a very familiar camp 
Hopefully most of you recognise this man. Welcome back. I'm here with Dustin and this man, Mr. Hiya. Northern Monk Hayes Outdoors. Like like <laughs> we are here in the woods. We're at Dustin's bushcraft camp. You know, you know the deal when I'm here, it's gonna be a feast. We're gonna have some good food, drink some beer, relax. The reason I didn't talk in that previous episode is because I had the flu. You can probably still hear it on me. And yeah, I couldn't talk and I didn't fancy like talking because I lost my voice. So it's a bit more of a talky episode this. Amber is here as well, the dog. It's gonna be great fun. Thank you so much for joining me on this trip. We are here in Dustin's Woodland, it's lovely. There's a couple of shelters around that you can see in the background. And we're gonna have a good time. This is part of a three day trip. We've got one day here in the woods uh, and then tomorrow we're gonna to head down to the coast and we're gonna do a coastal camp as well. So in three days, we are gonna to have to travel, get in the cars to travel to the coast uh, for tomorrow's trip. But that's gonna be a separate episode. So the next episode after this is gonna be a coastal video where we're gonna do some fishing, ho hopefully try and get some catch and cooks. But at the moment, we've got the fire going. The food is coming. Prepare yourself, eat your food, kick back, relax, and thanks for joining me. This is amazing. Oh, ruined it. Oh, he's dropped an F bomb. Ruined it. I'm keeping That's it. That's TA in. outdoors oh, out there. All right, so we've got a bit of venison here. We've got some venison burgers. These burgers have been made from venison um, cuts that have been left over from courses. So, for example, the cuts, for, like, for example, just like the shoulders or the flank, those cuts that you don't really want to flash fry or treat like a steak. It's quite good, it's quite a good idea to put those cuts through a mincer and turn them into mince. So I'm just gonna, we've got some huge, absolutely huge burgers. Monsters. So I'm gonna put one right there. I'm gonna put one right there. Well, I think I'll put one, whew, this one's big. Put one right there. They're gonna take, because they're quite thick, they're gonna take a little while to cook. Um, but we've got some potatoes and we've got some onion rings that'll be coming up with them. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, nice. it's another feast, mate. Nice feast. Back to the woods. Venison. Yeah. Minced venison, potatoes, and uh, yeah, welcome back. Good company. Good company, eh? And I'm here for the beer, that's <laughs> it. Alright, so what we're doing now is we've got potatoes on, we've got our big patties on, the burgers, and we now want to heat up some oil. We think the oil is hot enough. <laughs> you get smoked, Sorry, guys. That's <laughs> so why we're doing battered onion rings. We've made up a little batter right I mean, here. you say we, I think it was mainly, <laughs> we, did we make that batter? Uh, okay, okay, I supervised it. <laughs> no, I don't know, I don't even know about that. And it's, so what's it made up I'll of? take it from here. Okay. <laughs> We've got Pass flour, <laughs> water, and hot paprika in there. Yep. Oh. This gives it a little bit of a mwah, yep. a little yeah. bit of a spice to it. And this is the sacrificial onion that we're gonna test with. And we're not, we're not gonna do a trial, we're gonna go live. Yeah, no, no edit cut no. here. So we've got a quite a thickish batter, and it's kind of what you want. So is our oil hot enough? It's bubbling. Let's see. And we don't enough. want it. We don't want it too hot. No, you're right. I think we want it a bit hotter. So a little bit more. So uh, it boils a bit quicker. Burgers are looking good, though. They're looking good. So we've just put some wood under there. So it's gonna it's gonna lick up and heat up pretty quickly. Yep. Isn't yeah. It? But that's what it's all about. It's making. It's just testing it. So we now know it's not hot enough. We need to wait for a bit more flame. <laughs> and there you go. <laughs> Yeah, right, that is looking good. You have them a bit pink in the middle, eh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit pink. I don't mind a bit. Right, so we've added some more wood, got some more flames, and this is up to a serious temperature it now. It is now. This is a test. Kaboom! <laughs> yeah, there that's we go. good. Perfect. 
So just do them in clumps and have like little onion bargees. Or just do it. <laughs> yeah. It's going to take forever, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, the first one's probably done now. It is. I wouldn't be surprised. So we've got a smoke issue here on the fire. And Delia slash Hayes... Who's got... Uh, yeah. <laughs> ...has got his onion goggles Here's on. Here's the Ramsey life hack. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. What smoke? Yeah, what smoke? It's enjoyable, in fact. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. There's so much. It's not getting my eyes. <laughs> right, so we've got this smoked garlic. And the great thing about this, which you've probably seen in the other videos, is when you leave it near the fire, it gets really hot and you can then squeeze out, squeeze out the paste of this cooked garlic and it smells amazing and the flavour is amazing as well. You can see there, it just goes straight into a paste. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab some of this mayonnaise, pour it into this little wooden pot. Another, another little thing I've made on the lathe in my workshop. Right, so mayonnaise in there. We take our smoked garlic. It's quite a lot of smoked garlic. If you leave this for, a, for half an hour or so, it really brings out the flavour. So this is a, a quick version, and that's as simple as it is. You can add salt, you can add lemon juice, but we're just going to have it as smoked garlic, mayonnaise. Amazing. A mayonnaise in. <laughs> a mayonnaise in. <laughs> right, so we're just going to put some cheese on. Wow. We could go double cheese, couldn't we? Oh yeah. Be rude not to. Why wouldn't we? Double cheese. There you go. Brilliant. These goggles. <laughs> Great idea. <laughs> Great idea. That is. If you're going to be in charge of frying, you've got to come prepared. That's <laughs> yeah. all I'm saying. <laughs> This couldn't get any better than this, could it? <laughs> couldn't it? <laughs> it couldn't get any better than this, could it? It couldn't, no, but look, we've got a lovely bit of smoked garlic mayo here, these lovely bags, and I've got a treat for you. What have we got? Okay, what is it? Enjoy. That Wait. there is something <gasps> special. You can tell by the smell, that's a truffle. An hey. English truffle, oh. no doubt. God save the Queen. <laughs> can you smell that? Yeah. That was amazing. Ugh. Right, you you do yours then. I'm gonna. I'm... There you go. Can you whack a bit of mine, Dustin? Some as well, mate. Yeah, cheers. A dusting of truffle. <laughs> Am I right? Oh, just sat on the truffle. Uh, it's sacrilege. Let's tuck into that. Cheers. Mate. This ain't gonna be pretty, is it? <laughs> this isn't gonna be pretty. <laughs> this is a beast of a burger. Is... Do you know what? I might tuck into a few chips. I've just I've done to work myself. <laughs> yeah. so... Build up to it. Yeah. Perfect. Love that it. isn't. Look at that. Wow. Oh, so much flavour. It's a big burger. Mmm. Such an explosion of flavour. Mm. Lots of different flavours in there. The truffle, the. The truffle. Mm. Living good in the woods. Oh. Yeah. 
snotty as well. Got some. Yes. Moonrise then. Oh, yeah. Where? Oh, I haven't seen it yet. I saw it last night's moon was massive. If you, you get a cracking shot, yeah. You That's acting as a fire reflector as well. True. That would be a heat reflector, that thing. <laughs> the armrests are brilliant. I know. <laughs> are you are you recording? Should I yeah, yeah, there, you yeah? Can whack away, man, yeah. Oh. Are we just splitting them half? Yeah, I'm just doing halves. Okay, cool. Makes sense to let the fire go. Let's proper dry that as well. Boom. Let's get it unruly. What? Has it run out? Yeah. Have you got some? Yeah. I've got some. That wood is so much drier though. Yeah, less smoky in it. Yeah. And the thing's shaky. Hey. Right, that's it. Where's that ball? There's not much of a right, I mean, I did not wear that. Was <laughs> you call that a ball? <laughs> <laughs> probably know you've seen these before Mike you know what it is. I recognize these bottles <laughs> so this is the leftover of the elderflower champagne from a few months ago it might be slightly strong and it'll probably be quite explosive so when you pop the cap off it's volatile gonna, it's gonna, it might go everywhere <laughs> okay. so we might lose quite a bit should we do it I'm but, in um, yeah I'm, I've got a feeling it's gonna be quite strong as well do we do it, do it on do three? A cannon or whatever they call it, it goes boom, boom, boom. Like, like, a, Mexican yeah. Yeah. like a Mexican wave of mess. Right, I'm gonna go. What's the, oh, wait a minute, what's the get out strategy here? Because if it all goes wrong. Just just aim it yeah. at the fire. Uh, well, yeah. watch the, I'm gonna have to aim, I've got fire Just aim it away. Right, so that's I, in your I'm gonna go three, two, one. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Did you guys get nailed by the bowls? <laughs> I pretty much oh. inhaled that. That's sorted by cold out a tree. Oh, yeah. the money shot. Cheers. Oh. cheers, boys. Yeah, cheers. Good to be out in the woods. Oh, cheers, still cheers. got that good flavour to it. Yeah, it's cheers. cracking. Cheers, man. Thank you. It's refreshing. That's well. all right, man. That's nice. That's not. Um, there's no. Um, no, that's not sour. Acidity, I was expecting because right? did you see his brewing kit, Dustin's? Uh, did you show him your brewing yeah. kit, the elderflower, the bucket? Yeah, just the. Yeah. Do you see the bucket Champagne. in the shed? In that, you know where the fishing rods are. Not in the shed, but in that back room. Yeah, no, we went in there. Like there's all this stuff, like fishing gear, yeah. all this exciting stuff, and he was like, "Oh, check out these blue bog roll things." Oh, yeah. like, the blue rolls. <laughs> that was it. That was it. <laughs> right, nice blue rolls. Check they're out the, the bog rolls. Use them for everything. The blue. <laughs> they're amazing. Still going on about it. There's it's like, oh, there's all sorts going they're on there. Like, I didn't check out these bog rolls. Look. <laughs> yeah, you can get dispensers, but they're yeah, about no, twelve yeah. quid. We're gonna cook up some of this cheese. So I've got a bit of leftover garlic. Amber, no, no. It's not for you, Amber. It's not for you. I right, so just take out what's left of the garlic from earlier. So this, this is the smoked garlic. Give it that, a little bit of dirt. So we've got, we've got four cloves. I'll do one, two, three, four. And I'm quite simply just gonna press them into it. And what this will do is it will give us some really good flavor. So move my foot and it's getting a bit hot. So that's in there. I'm now gonna put the lid on. And what I think is quite important is to just wet the whole cardboard. So these normally come in a plastic wrapper inside the cardboard, um, well, in, inside the, the, the wooden box. We've taken that off and we're just wetting it a little bit. And then we're gonna place it into the Dutch oven. <laughs> so, oh, <sorry>. Amber. <laughs> so the trick now, is if we were to put that on the bottom and then put this Dutch oven on the coals, we'd burn our cheese or we'd burn the bottom of it. So I'm just gonna place a few of these little stones down. 
So yeah, a few of them down, and you can see that lifts it off the bottom. Now we can put that on, and we can put that over the coals, and that will now act as an oven, and not a frying pan. So I'll just move a few coals over. The thing is, we're in no rush to cook this. This, we just want it to slowly warm up, and then what will happen is the cheese will just melt. And uh, we've got some vegetables, so we can dip. We can dip these vegetables in the cheese. And hopefully, it'll go really nice. So I'm just going to take that, place it here. Ian Beal's bug. Stephen Seagill bug. <laughs> oh, mate! Oh, you're brave. You're brave. Watch out. Oh no! Don't do it. Don't do it. There you go. Oh, it's really melted. Yes. Look at that. Tuck so I'm just going to move that around there, just tuck in, Liquid get involved. loveliness. Oh, yes. Oh, do that, guys. Look at that. I drink it. Get that in ya. Melted. Do you know what that, you know that's shy of? Truffle. <laughs> Truffle? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Funny you mentioned that. Oh. Look at that. That is, <laughs> it is a little that's, over the top. That's truffle crime, that is. Look at that. There's broccoli in there. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I think in the burger we didn't really appreciate it. Yeah, but saying in there. there were so many flavours, but with this it should really bring it out. No, yeah. I, I keep saying I did appreciate it. Mate. Look at that. Mm. If I don't appreciate that, there's something wrong with me. Look into my eyes, look into my eyes. Not around the eyes. Yeah, into the eyes. She's watching every movement. <laughs> well, we're gonna call it a night. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty tame oh, now in the camp. But uh, yeah, we're pretty tired. Well, I'm certainly quite tired. Yeah, we've also got, a big day. got a big day tomorrow. Catch and cooks, coastal, coastal fishing, coastal camping. We don't know what's gonna happen, but it's gonna be fun. Weather's meant to be all right, so uh, we're gonna probably get some breakfast here. Uh, tomorrow morning and then head straight off to the coast. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Night guys. Night. Night, night AZ. Night. Night, night Dustin. Good night. night. <laughs>
Yeah. Your finger and have your knuckle sticking out so you can't cut your finger. <laughs> Good old Gordon. Yeah. And always have an SE3 so that it's thin. <laughs> There's no <clears throat> scandy grind getting in the way. Kicking over of big perfect, chunks out. Perfect food prep. It literally looks like bread, it's crazy. Here we go. The stunner. Oh. Man's breakfast. Oh, do you know that truffle actually on breakfast? That's what it's for. Out of everything we put the truffle on, that breakfast is the best. Goes well with it. Just go for things that I know, like hedgehog mushrooms and seps and cauliflowers. Yeah. And there's one that's bright purple. Is there? Yeah, that it's is. called a false, false amanita, and it's edible. What? But it looks like it's like it's gonna kill you. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. purple. We're getting ready to go out. We've had uh, a tea, we've got tea on, we've packed up the gear, still got to roll up the wool blanket. But we're gonna be heading out now to the coast. Uh, the weather's looking good. Hopefully you can see the sun out there, look at that. The weather is looking really, really good. Uh, we've checked the tide times, we've checked the wind. It's all pretty much falling in our favor. We just need to get some fresh bait uh, on the way down. And then hopefully we can try and do a catch and cook. We've obviously got food with us, things like rice and just uh, uh, boiling a bag meals and things like that, but we want to be able to add to those meals with some uh, some fresh fish or crabs or something like that. We're not sure. Coastal video will be the next episode. Uh, it won't be part of this video, but look at what I'm going to say. What we built, but I didn't actually have any input on this. Look at this down here. A bushcraft bench, which I, I can't take any credit for. Hazy and uh, Hazy and Dustin have built this. Really Explain what it is. Explain what we've done. So we just found there's materials lying all over this, this woodland, and we've just within within a half an hour we just knocked up this bench. And the idea was to have something to sit on, and with a little backrest as well. And we've got Hazy. I think Hazy it. made these armrests and as well, didn't lovely. it? Lovely. It is actually really comfy. It's just what the camp needed. Yeah, yeah, because camp's looking great now. Look at that. It's looking really good. And look at these supports as well. We just wedged them in there. I think that was my input actually, was the supports. Just a couple of uh, axe swings and hammering those in. <laughs> it's worked a treat. It's a simple, simple design, but that's going to last absolutely ages, that. That one more improvement that makes it feel that little bit more homely. Yeah. Do you want a date? Do you want to go on a date? <laughs> yeah. A date with a dog. Is it a prune? What's the difference between a prune one, and a date? Do you want to try one? Or not? That's a theory different? time. <laughs> theory difference. time. Difference. Right, get rolling. We're rolling now. What's the difference between a prune and a date? Comment down below if you, uh, you want to go on a date or if you're a prune. <laughs> <laughs> is this the first time of having a... I is mean, this a prune? They're a medjool date. They're a medjool date. It's like a Moroccan thing. Yeah, you Moroccan. Yeah, you have it with a coffee, normally. What's your thoughts? They're sweet. These ones are a bit dry. Sticky. Sticky. Chewy. Chewy. Yeah, chewy. Sticky. Bet there's bet some good energy in that. Good energy. Healthy energy. Mm. Slow release. Natural sugars. Trail food. Trail, Trail mix. mix. Guys, thanks so much for watching this episode. Really appreciate it. Be sure to go and check out Hayes' channel, Hayes Outdoors, just to putting a link here, and Dustin's channel, Bushcraft Tools. Links are all in the description. Head on over to their channel, give them a subscribe. I've had a great time. It's been a great night here in the woods. I'm still feeling a bit rough, but we're heading to the coast today. I'm looking forward to some fishing, hopefully a bit of foraging, 
maybe trying to catch some crabs and things like that as well. We don't know, but we're going to go and have a good time. The weather's good. Stay tuned next week for the coastal episode. Cheers, guys. Oh, I forgot my bag. Always forget the bag. Always forget the bag. So packing for this trip is quite interesting because obviously I've been going to the woods here and then I've got the coast today. So I've had to really think about the kind of gear that I'm taking. I've got a tent, I have got a tent here, my uh, Hex Peak, but uh, last night I slept with a wool blanket uh, and just uh, straight onto the deer hides and the sheepskins like I've done previously with Dustin. But um, yeah, the plan is really, we're gonna try and find a cave, try and sleep in a cave. Uh, if not, I've got the tent for backup. Um, you know, just if, in case we can't find any caves or quarries or anything like that. But uh, yeah, I've got a mixture of gear. I've got all my fishing gear in here as well. Uh, so I'll probably run through that in the next episode for you guys. Also, while I'm here in Dustin's Woodland, couldn't resist by uh, grabbing some cedar bark from some trees. He's got quite a few cut down here. So myself and Hazy have stocked up on some cedar bark just uh, so we can get some tinder bundles for back home. Uh, it's obviously great for tinder bundles and things like that. We'll fluff this up. I'll probably show you that in a different episode. Um, but yeah, be sure to check those channels out and also the previous episodes that I did with Dustin here it was a three-day camp. There's a link somewhere up here. Cheers guys Just a little quick piece at the end of the video uh, To let you guys know that I have just released this new hoodies hoodie design Living good in the woods. It was inspired by my episodes that I filmed with Dustin who taught me really that you don't have to always go out in the woods with basic stuff, survival. You can actually go out there, take a little bit more extra gear with you and just enjoy time outside in nature. So that's what this design was all about. It was inspired by the collaborations with myself and Dustin. Uh, as you can see, it just says living good in the woods. It's got some trees on it. I've got it in a hoodies. I've got it in a t-shirt as well, which I've got on under here, a blue t-shirt. So it comes in t-shirts, hoodies, sweaters, uh, and it's just an opportunity for you guys to help support the channel. Obviously you don't have to get it, I'm not asking you, I'm forcing you to get it. I'm just making you aware that it's out there and it helps me uh, to make more videos for you guys. So thanks so much for this. You can get this design and all the other TA designs at www.taofficial.com. Uh, there's a link in the description to that as well. Stay tuned for next week, it's going to be a real good episode. Yes, what the? Let, right, go, 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 hit it, hit it. You're yeah. in, you're in, boy! Yeah, buddy, look at that rod bend!